Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, I'm going to provide you some good news for those who are planning to travel in the Philippines before the end of this year. If you are currently in the Philippines, please share your travel experience and let us know what you think of the travel restrictions. There are now new exemptions for travel insurance and return ticket requirements starting April 1st. Foreign spouse and or children of Filipino citizens are now exempt. Also, former Filipino citizens, including their spouse and children, traveling together. The third exemption goes to foreign nationals with valid immigrant visa and non-immigrant visa except a 9A visa or other special visa issued by the Bureau of Immigration or other competent Philippine government agencies. The Bureau of Immigration issued an advisory providing for these new exemptions. There are some changes regarding the travel requirements for foreign nationals visiting the Philippines starting April 1st, and these are good changes. But let me clarify the information and let me provide you the travel requirements later on in this video. Resolution number 165D and this will be effective on April 1st. It will allow the entry of foreign nationals without need of an entry exemption document beginning April 1st. But let me provide the clarification. All foreign nationals must be fully vaccinated, otherwise you will be denied entry. Here's the actual wording. Upon the recommendation of the technical working group, fully vaccinated foreign nationals shall be allowed entry into the Philippines as follows with the reinstatement of visa issuance and visa-free entry privileges for fully vaccinated foreign nationals beginning April 1st, the DFA or Department of Foreign Affairs is directed to promulgate such guidelines, circulars, and other issuances as may be necessary to fully restore such visa issuance and visa-free entry privileges, including but not limited to APEC business travel card holders, Ajax or Ajax Suk visas to its pre-pandemic state for the guidance and information of all relevant agencies. Here are the summary of changes. So let me explain in detail what the IATF Resolution 165D means. For visa-free foreign nationals, meaning your countries are included under EO 408 or Executive Order 408, if you are staying more than 30 days for purposes other than tourism or leisure, entry exemption document is no longer required. So this is the good news. This is for visa-free foreign nationals. On the other hand, for visa-required foreign nationals, meaning your country is not included under EO 408, entry exemption document will no longer be required for entry, but you must secure the required visa from the Philippine consulate abroad before travel. Let me illustrate. There are two classifications of foreign nationals who are allowed to enter the Philippines. The first classification are those nationals of countries included under Executive Order Number 408, and these are specific countries, so meaning your country must be specifically stated. If you're staying more than 30 days, entry exemption document is no longer required, and you are entitled to 30 days visa-free stay in the Philippines and you will get the visa upon arrival in the Philippines. The visa is free. Another classification of tourists are those whose nationals are not included under EO 408. So meaning entry exemption document no longer be required starting April 1st and you must apply for a 9A visa abroad from Philippine consulate covering your residence you must use the new online visa system. You must do it online. Also, there is a fee. You must pay the visa fee depending on the length of your stay in the Philippines. If your country is not included under Executive Order Number 408, you must secure a 9A visa. However, you must use the online system use visa.gov.ph to apply online and you must also submit the supporting documents to the nearest Philippine consulate covering your residence. 
There are two classification of foreign tourists, those non-visa required under EO408 and those visa required under EO408. However, both foreign nationals must be fully vaccinated to enter Philippines. Here are the latest travel requirements prior to arrival in the Philippines. There are two classifications. First, you must comply with immigration entry requirements and the other is the COVID travel requirements. Prior to arrival, here are the immigration entry requirements for foreign nationals. First, no visa required for nationals under EO408 and also 9A visa required for nationals not included under EO408. Your passport must be valid for at least 6 months and beyond before arrival in the Philippines and you must have a return or onward ticket. The ticket must be within 30 days for non-visa required countries under EO408. However, for those visa required foreign nationals, the return or onward ticket depends on the duration of your 9A visa for visa required foreign nationals. Another requirement is that you must not be restricted, blacklisted, or considered excluded alien by the Bureau of Immigration. Here are the latest travel requirements. First, prior to arrival, you must obtain a travel insurance for COVID-19 with a minimum coverage of $35,000 for the duration of your stay in the Philippines. Second requirement, present a negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours or a negative laboratory-based antigen test taken within 24 hours prior to the date and time of departure from country of origin. Third requirement, you must have proof of vaccination. Present one of the following options. First, ICV or yellow card. Second, Vaxert PH. Third, national or state digital certificate of the country which has accepted Vaxert PH under a reciprocal agreement or arrangement. Fourth, other proofs of vaccination. There are now more acceptable national digital proof of vaccination being accepted in the Philippines. Also, the proof of vaccination is not only for entry but also for domestic travel such as interzonal or intrazonal movement. Here are the new list of countries. Here are the latest countries included under the reciprocity agreement, which means that the vaccine certificates from these countries are acceptable in the Philippines and can be used as proof of vaccination for purposes of entry requirements. You will not be required to quarantine if your proof of vaccination are from these countries. These are only one of the acceptable proofs of vaccination under the third option. The fourth requirement is that you must fill out the One Health Pass registration within three days before travel and get the transaction number. You must upload your proof of vaccination and negative test results. The fifth requirement. You must download and register Trace mobile application for contact tracing. So some airlines require this and some do not require the Trace app. But I would advise to download the app and register. Number six, you will only be required to self-monitor for seven days. However, you are required to report to the local government unit of your destination should you manifest any symptoms. Number seven, mask will still be required. Number eight, if you have connecting flights, you must use the S pass for domestic travel purposes. You can check the restrictions of a certain place and the travel requirements for S pass. 
If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.